So I uh, fixed just a few things in the software. So um, there was a glitch when we opened them up and now they are nice and rock steady. Um, on the hollows I watched the movies and I, I noticed that uh, um, Kenny Baker really wiggles them hard so I made them uh, move a little bit more than that. There we go. Exactly when you move to the back. It's really a, a lot of HP activity now, so it looks more like a person's in it. Uh, and no other changes that you don't see is that the hollows can be controlled by the board. And preparing for uh, a more more features and in particular the, the features on the uh, second Markduino board. Uh, no, can still do the HPs and and control the Jedi's. Um, but uh, now you don't need a Jedi at least for doing all HP including light, so you can turn one light or all of them and go and um, also you can, you can flicker them if you want, let's flicker one for uh, 10 seconds, you know. uh, but you can also uh, flicker them all at the same time if you wanted, and they all do that independently. So it's another of the all flickers, and they are all random. So you can make all all kind of nice effects. They flash also, uh, and that's no change in the hardware. That's just software. So I had three headers left. I use them for that. And uh, yeah, over here is also another thing I'm working on, that's the uh, MP3 board, MP3 trigger. That's a hell of a nice board, very easy to use. I was uh, no, tr already doing sounds in five minutes, that's really easy. Uh, so that's going to replace the CF3 and be a lot less expensive. And for the same features, uh, so coming up.